Thanks for the insight, Caitlin. Really appreciate that. The Sun's trying to clear it out of the defence. Rennie, oh, good smother. Bella, her direct opponent, was involved. Number two, the ruck for the Gold Coast Suns. And a, a former um, kangaroo. Sard goes to ground. King handles straight to the opposition. Clearing kick out of defence. A tough ball to be won here. Stanton applies the pressure. Smith on a wing and Taylor Gatt. So they've tried to bring in some run and carry into this kangaroo side. So we've got nearly nine minutes without a major here. Here's a chance for the kangaroos because it'll be a free kick and it'll go to Randall. It's a cardinal sin. So Talia Randall, mark of the year last year. We know she's got the aerial skills. What about the kicking skills? Bang on! Talia Randall secures their first for the season. And this is where they want to get a bit more speed on the game. Wastes no time, comes into the corridor. It's a good kick, and they're going to take off and go. Here's Brown, inside 50. Can they find a mark? It was a good fly, it'll be a free kick. And that might be Sophia McCarthy, the debutant. It is. Advantage is going to be paid. Jazzy Garn is going to deny the debutant her first shot at goal. But Jazzy's kicked her first, and there'll be many more to come this season. Straight past it, an unkind bounce. Wright's able to gather to Smith with a fumble. Plenty of pressure. Hampson applies it. Going in hard is Drennan, as she always does. Chance here for the Kangaroos. Garner will just go straight for the ball and run into a teammate and still pick up the Sharon and bomb it long to Randall. And allow these players to run and jump at the mark. Played in those two lose losing grand finals for Brisbane Lions as a defender. But that seems like an eternity ago because she's turned herself into a goal-kicking machine for the Roos. In a touch and go with it. She held on to it long enough, but the umpire paid the mark. Carly Randall looking lively already in this forward half. And now Emma King goes into the centre bounce. Garner having a real influence on this game. The kick finds Riddell. Gives the overlap run to King. Look at her take off from 50. Has she got the journey? It's going to go very close. If it doesn't, Rennie, who's resting in the goal square, will kick the goal. That's a luxury when you've got the two tools. Dangerous part of the ground again for North Melbourne. Smith, her kick smothered. Well done, Randall. Under pressure here. The Gold Coast... That is some leap because Lauren Bella is one of the tallest players in the comp. Bruton with a fend off and then a give to Garner who goes long and strong and it's marked by Randall. Proved to, to be a real difference here in this game. She's kicked a goal in every quarter. Talia Randall, for the first time in her career, she's got three goals to her name. Randall's having a day out and so too are the Roos. Too far from home, so happy just to pop it to about 30 out. Sons have got the numbers. Who's going to pay the mark? If it was basketball, it'd be a jump ball. But the umpire oh, is going oh. to pay it. Convince yeah, the convince the umpire, haven't they? So Sophia McCarthy had a chance tonight in the first term, had a shot in the second term. Can she get her first AFLW goal in the third term? She does. And what a special moment for the youngster. For Stanton now to have a shot on goal. The veteran for the Suns. Just the seven goals in her career. And that's an important one. It might only be consolation in the context of the game, but... The Hobart schoolgirl. A little tired and sloppy, these kangaroos. Dupay. How's this one going to land? Perfectly. For two goals late, Kalinda Howarth finally gives them a bit of bounce. They're both looking like they've taken that extra step so far this season. Early season statements have been made. Collingwood look good, Melbourne look great. 